So I was really dumb and spent $500 on Kylie's swim, but I made some TikToks about it that went viral, showing just how cheap these swimsuits are. So I thought I'd give you guys an in-depth try on review. Okay guys, I ordered basically everything from Kylie Swim and I'm so excited. I will say the packaging is a little beaten up, but hopefully the swimsuits are cute. I hate to say it, but the little baggies are giving me Shein. So today I am here to review Kylie Swim and I am literally so excited. Like when I saw she launched this, like I immediately knew I wanted to do a video. I immediately set an alarm on my phone for when it went live. And yeah, I feel like I was maybe one of the only people that was really excited though, because as of right now, yeah, there's literally so many things still on the site. I really expected her to sell out. I don't know, there were a few pieces that sold out, like this one. I think I'm gonna try this one on first. This was the first one to sell out. I think it was gone within like 20 minutes. And then the Kylie followed that. I think this was gone within like maybe an hour, but pretty much everything else is still on the site. I need to backtrack though, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about the packaging. So one thing I really, really like about this brand is how consistent like the aesthetic is. Like everything is basically the same color scheme from the bathing suits to the packaging to the website. Like I really like how cohesive it is. Cohesive? That's the word. I love how cohesive it is and I just feel like the Kardashians and Enners are so good at branding so I feel like this is to be expected from them. I will say the packaging is a little bit cheap. The box literally is like falling apart. Like this is how I got it. It arrived really, really quickly though which does make me happy. I feel like I just ordered this and it's already here. I kind of wish I was reviewing Kylie Baby though because this background would literally be perfect. If you guys have seen her other brand that she just launched, this is literally the aesthetic. If only I had a child. Honestly, my period's a little bit late. Anyways, let's jump into the review. So the first swimsuit is this one. This is the one that sold out. I really, really like this on, there's like a photo of Kylie wearing it. I've seen like models wearing it. This is definitely the one that stood out to me the most. I think it's the one that stood out to most people the most. I like the little metal things right here. I feel like it does make it look a little bit more expensive. <sighs> okay, I feel like I should just try this on because I can't even talk about anything else because I just keep focusing on how thin it is. Like I might have to blur out my nipples. <laughs> okay, I just want to say that this swimsuit was so confusing to get on. Like I was literally just figuring it out as I went. Once it was on, I was like, okay, that makes sense. But like there were just so many straps and things happening. <laughs> this is what it looks like though. I think it's cute. I was a little bit scared that it wasn't gonna fit when I was like, putting it up over my legs. I was like, oh no, my thighs are too thick, but it ended up working. I'm also happy that it isn't see-through. I'm pretty sure you can't see my nipples at least. I like it though, it's cute. This is what it looks like in the back. I don't know, I feel like it's flattering. I'm definitely not Kylie Jenner, but I like the way it looks on. Moving on to the second most popular one, which is the Kylie. Okay, this is what we're working with. I like this one. I would say I'm maybe a little bit more optimistic. No, wait, this is literally just as thin. One thing I am nervous about with these swimsuits is I ordered everything in a small. And I feel like 90% of the time, a small works for me, but there's those few times where I'm like, damn, I, wish I should have sized up to a medium. And I feel like this might be one of those times. Everyone who had already received their orders that I've seen on Instagram was saying to size up and I did not do that. So a little bit concerned. Kylie says she wears a medium, but I feel like she's like got bigger tits than me and she's thicker than me. So if she wears a medium, I feel like I should be fine with a small because like, you know, I don't got the same boobies as her. Okay, I'm trying to figure out if I like this one or not. This is the Kylie. I think I just expected it to make my boobs look better. I feel like it kind of makes me look flat and I don't know how I feel about that. It fits really well though. I like how in the back there's like this little tie thing here so you can adjust it and the straps are adjustable. So we like that, that is good. But I don't know, unless I like yank this up all the way, I feel like it doesn't do anything for my boobs. I think the color is cute and I like how it has like these little sticks here. I don't know why I like that. I feel like it just like flatters your body more. And I think this like silhouette kind of thing is supposed to make you look more like slim thick too. I think my only problem is with the boobies. I just like showing off my boobies and this doesn't do that. If you want something that's like more modest up top, I think maybe this is a good option. It's definitely 
still cheeky, but my initial thoughts when I looked in the mirror was that I didn't like it, but it is growing on me. I think that I like it now. <laughs> this swimsuit is also sold out. This one's a little scandy. I think this one took like at least a couple days to sell out though. Oh, <laughs> this literally covers nothing. This is supposed to cover my tip. This. Okay. <laughs> she's definitely a little scandy. I wonder what the, oh my God, it's probably, yeah, she's a thong. I mean, to be expected. This one, I mean, I kind of knew it was gonna be a little scandy, I will say. I didn't expect it to be this much, but if it's see-through too, we're really gonna be giving a show. Ugh, I'm nervous about this one. I know people say that every body is a summer body, but I'm really wishing that I went to the gym a little bit more. I'm wishing that I didn't eat that entire box of Cheez-Its today. I will say I'm proud of myself though for like, usually when I do any kind of swimsuit video, I literally film it in the morning because of like morning skinny and like whatever and I'm always like really self-conscious about my body and I kind of said fuck it today. I'm literally, I think I'm about to start my period. Hopefully I'm a little bloated. So just, you know, go easy on me if this looks bad. Okay, as long as I don't move, I think I'm good. Yeah, okay, we're good. So this is what it looks like. I feel like a porn star. I I don't know. I guess this could work for like an Instagram photo. I don't think this is wearable at all. Unless you have like a one inch coochie and really small tits. I don't know who this is for. I'm also just not like in love with it. Even in the photos, this wasn't my favorite. I don't know. I don't know if it's like just too much, it's too out there, if it's not flattering. I can't figure it out. This swimsuit, I'm a little bit surprised that it didn't sell out. I think it's still in stock right now. I just thought like, cause all the other one pieces sold out. I don't know why people didn't like this one, but this is what she looks like. <sighs> it's so cheap feeling. White Fox would never. Like I have swimsuits from White Fox and they feel so much better than this. This just like, oh, even like the threads here are all kind of up. I really, really, really wanted to like the quality of this, but even if I do like the fit, the quality is just not there. I think this might be worse than Shein. I'm sorry, Kylie, I wanted to like it so bad. I literally spent over $500 on your website and I feel like I got $100 worth of swimsuit. I feel like I understand why this was the least popular one piece swimsuit. It's kind of just a more boring version of the first one I tried on. Like it's the exact same pattern, just with like a more boring silhouette. I don't know, I'm here for the underboob moment. I do love me. A good underboob. But it's just like kind of boring. I don't know. This is what the back looks like. I also feel like this one's like a little bit smaller than the others. I don't know. I feel like the other ones fit me like decently well, but this one feels kind of small. Because of the cut of the swimsuit, I also feel like the thong kind of goes like sideways and it just seems like, I don't know. It's obviously not meant to be the same on both sides, but I feel like it like comes up higher on this side. It just looks a little bit weird to me. I don't know. I don't love the way it fits. The last swimsuit I got was the two-piece swimsuit and I got the schlong, sarong. I got this as well to go over it. Did I say schlong? I'm pretty sure that's a penis. <laughs> okay, this is the bottoms. I remember when I saw this, I was like really excited about this like adjustable thing. Like I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be like custom fit. And then I realized that pretty much every swimsuit bottoms have like the little tie thing on the side. So this really isn't anything special. It is cool though. I will say it's a little, innovative that you know i haven't seen any other swimsuit bottoms that do this and then for the top we have this this doesn't even feel like normal swimsuit material i'm sorry i'm so focused on the material and i feel like i'm not normally that bitch. like i'm not like oh my god this feels cheap oh my god this feels expensive like i'm normally not like that but it's just so noticeable with this i just really don't know how this got approved but anyways <laughs> other than the material it's really cute i do like this i like the subtle like red and pink color change. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but it is like a subtle purpley red mixture. And then our shalom. Oh wait, sarong. This actually feels nice to me. I like this. Wait, this might be my favorite thing out of the whole order. I don't know how to tie this. I'm going to have to look on the website to see how they did it. But this is really, really cute. I like this out. I'll definitely get like a photo in it at least. This swimsuit just feels so unnecessary to me to have in the collection. It's just like a basic, but I feel like basic should be high quality and this one definitely is not. So I really just don't really understand the point. It's just boring. I don't know. I don't know why she has these boring ones in the collection. I think with the sarong, it is a cool look. I don't think it's the most flattering on my body type. I, the, I, I honestly don't think I'd ever wear this. I feel like I could pose cute for a photo, but to actually wear out, I feel like I wouldn't feel confident in this. 
I also like tied the swimsuit top on upside down because I just didn't like the way it looked. I don't know. Maybe I'm being hard on myself, but I just don't think this looks great on my body. I also like having my swimsuit bottom straps like really high up. I feel like most people do now. We've realized that that is more flattering, but this will not stay up. It keeps rolling down. Even if I like tighten it, it still kind of rolls down. So I don't know about this one. It's cute. It is cute, but it's just... This is an expensive outfit, you know? It's like, I think it was $40 for the top, $40 for the bottoms, and then maybe $40 for the sarong. It adds up, for sure. <sighs> okay, final thoughts. I hope I don't come across too harsh in this video because I like Kylie. I like that family. I know some people don't, but I think they're very ambitious. I think they're, you know, female entrepreneurs, and I want to support that. I really do. But I just feel like the swimsuits are very overpriced for the quality that you get. When I first saw the prices, I was like, okay, that's reasonable as long as they're good quality, but they're not. <laughs> I think the branding's really cool and I hope that they continue to improve the brand. I feel like there definitely are areas that need some work, but it's a new brand. I think that's to be expected. So I can go a little easy on her for that reason. I just hope that the next drop is like better quality. <laughs> That's pretty much my only complaint. I think the designs are cool for the most part, and I think the fit is decent. I know some people were complaining about that, but I was scared that I was gonna need a medium. I think they were a little tight, but I, a small is still doable for me. Yeah, I guess like those are my final thoughts. Let me know what you thought, if you liked this video, and if there's anything else you guys want me to like review, I guess. Cause I enjoyed this. I know I normally do vlogs, but this is really fun. This feels right. I feel like I wanna do more of this. Sorry, one other thing I wanted to mention was that when I was on the set, I did notice that the largest size I had was an extra large, which really is not very big, especially when you see what the extra large looks like. I don't know, I wish they were a little bit more size inclusive. You know, I want my plus size girls to be able to get Kylie Swim too. So I think that sucks. I don't know if they're planning on, you know, expanding their size range, but that is something I noticed. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.